Now joining me in studio, representatives with the Ladies Ancient Order of Hibernians. With publicity, we have Susan Connors and co-chair of the Hooli Committee, Maureen Kidlisic. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey, how are you, Avery? How are you? Good, good. So tell me a little bit about LAOH to start off. Well, first of all, thank you for having us. This really does help our promoting of course, and yeah. ticket selling. We always want good, that. Good, good, that's good. We're here to promote our 20th annual um, halfway to St. Patrick's Day Hooli. Mm -hmm. And this year it's Friday, September 13th mm -hmm. from 6 to 10 at the American Legion on Robinson Street in Binghamton. And the um, LAOH, the Ladies Ancient Order Hibernians, mm -hmm. was, uh, there's a national and then there's different states and then local. The national was uh, organized in 1894. Mm -hmm. We had a 125th anniversary we celebration, did. which was really nice. Wow. Yeah. And then locally we have two divisions. One was started in 1966 and the other in 1988. Okay. Yeah, and then tell me a little bit about what can, people can expect at this event. Okay. The Hooli, it's a lively party. Okay. It features live music, dancing. It's focused on promoting Irish culture, friendship, and the money that we raise goes to support our local charities. It's a wonderful night of fun, mm -hmm. um, good food. Okay, that's always good, that's always good. And our 50-50 our pro, our proceeds, which we're having this year, again, it uh, goes to um, an organization called I Can Ride. Incorporated, and that's an alternative therapeutic recreational equine activity to the at risk special needs mm -hmm. uh, individuals and veterans in our community. And the owner is a member of the LAOH, and we also have a we're going to have a restaurant board, uh, the 50 50 raffle, and baskets. Okay. And 20 years ago, our dear sister, M. Catherine Kathy Cronin, came up with the idea to have a hooli here in, in Broome County to, again, get all the people in the community to come to a fun night filled with all kinds of good things. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Kathy passed away last month, so she won't be here, yeah. but she will be with us in spirit. Okay. Yeah, okay. We, yeah it's been 20 years that we've been doing yeah, it. Yeah, and, and different. We have different bands, different uh, venues. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when people walk into this event, kind of tell me like what it looks like and like the energy in there, basically. Well, the band will be playing. We have the band, the Shambles. Mm -hmm. They're a lively, a fun group. They get okay. the, they get the audience, you know, the crowd going. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Carl School of Irish Dance. So they'll be running around getting ready. And okay. then we also have the Edward P. Maloney Memorial Pipe Band. So they'll mm -hmm. be practicing mm -hmm. in the back. So it's you. It's a lot of noise, you mm -hmm. know, because it gets everybody <laughs> good excited. Good noise. It's no, all yeah, good that's noise. good. It gets yeah. everybody excited. Mm -hmm. So they'll be performing during the night. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll see the people on the dance floor. And and you'll see friends you may not have seen in a year. Mm -hmm. And you'll meet new friends. Yep. And yeah, people come yep. from all over, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. to, tri-state uh, the three states you know we have pennsylvania and yeah we do yeah mm -hmm. and it so. sounds like you guys you know have had a great turnout in the past totally years fun. do you guys have like a specific goal for fundraising in mind this year well this is our biggest fundraiser of mm -hmm. the year mm -hmm. uh, for both our divisions we split the profits and uh we just put the money right back out into the community those that need there isn't any specific um, I mean, we have certain ones that we give to, but, right. but something, anybody something that, yeah, come up that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, someone yeah. that's really in need that will say, okay, yeah. Yeah. money mm -hmm. goes there. Yeah. And I want to ask too, so I love St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's a big <laughs> holiday. What kind of made this be like the halfway to St. Patrick's Day? How did that come about? Because well, it's like six the, months. It's, it's six it's, months. It's around, yeah. The, yeah it's around Is there like just like a specific reason that you did, you know, that, that month till... Or that holiday, I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't um, no, I think it's been started. It's been yeah, a it's long time. Okay. I mean, long before yeah. us. Before us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, people were having uh, dinners and, mm -hmm. and dances. All right. Yeah, yeah. I can't ask yeah. questions. Then. So, it's just happening. So it's we a yeah, thing we, now. We, we went with it too, and, and it's right. been good for us. Mm -hmm. No, that's great. It's a great time. Yeah. yeah. What's the most rewarding part you have to say of holding this? I think mm -hmm. that myself. I think what we raise and that we can put back out into the community mm -hmm. to help those that are in need. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what our motto is: friendship, mm -hmm. unity, and Christian. Christian charity. And we try to live by that. Mm -hmm. And we feel both divisions feel, and the men. We have a men's division. That that's what we do by our helping to support work, right? and yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. through our the charities, the community, and the fifty-fifty. People well, yeah. love to support that. 
and it's, awesome. and it's we try to do it as a local mm -hmm. and and you know we we look at different charities and see who might need it the most and we thought this would be great being one of our members mm -hmm. she's been on the show before she has the little ponies <laughs> oh really yeah oh that's so awesome she, she might bring a pony for outside of the legion you should mm -hmm. you guys should send a, a crew over there so you can okay. get okay yeah you should have brought a pony <laughs> today you're gonna you know, go right here <laughs> <laughs> amazing. So how can people go about finding more information, um, even if they would like to donate or come to this event? Okay, well, we have a Facebook page, and I think you might be posting that mm -hmm. later. But they can get their tickets. The advanced tickets are $15 for adults. Mm -hmm. And they, it's only till tomorrow night, because okay. then we stop selling advanced. But then uh, the day of the uh, event, it'll go up to 18 but they can still get tickets at the door. Okay. And they can stop at the AOH Hall. They, we have tickets there, or Abel's Pub on Rotary Avenue, and then the American Legion itself. Okay. All right, yeah. perfect. Well, I want to thank you both for coming on today. I wish you the you best of having. luck. And thank you, Avery. Yeah, another thank successful year. Thank Come on you. and see us. All yeah. right, I know, this pony, you know, I go see the pony. <laughs> For those of the, you who might have missed those details, the La Ladies' Ancient Order of Hibernians is hosting the 20th annual Halfway to St. Patrick's Day Huli on Friday, September 13th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. This will take place at the American Legion, post 1645 in Binghamton. This event celebrates Irish culture and supports charitable causes with an evening of music, games, raffles, food, and more. For more information, please visit their Facebook page.